Hey, what's up guys? This is Sivon here. Welcome back to another episode of playing Gemstone Legends. So in today's video, we're going to do another uh, unit highlight. It is going to be Gorak and we're going to try and make this video short and to the point. So let's go in and talk about Gorak and why he is one of uh, my favorite heroes uh, when you go up against any light, atta uh, any light enemies. So Gorak is considered a tank bruiser, but to me, he really is just a pure uh, damage dealer. If you take a look at his ability, uh, his special deal ability will deal damage to himself, 30% of caster's HP. So kind of scary. You think that, you know, you're every time you use him, you're, you're losing health. But the nice thing to know is that he can't actually kill himself. So he cannot uh, go down to zero. So that means you can use his ability even if he's down to one health and he will continue to survive. So do not worry about his skill killing him. That is one thing that people do worry about and you don't have to worry about that. The second thing he does is he will deal damage based on attack, so 367%, and ignores 40% of the defense. So that means whatever damage he's dealing, uh, he's able to uh, ignore 40% of the, the defense from the enemy that would have otherwise blocked some of that. Okay, and so more of the damage goes through, and 40% defense ignore is the highest in the game. And so that definitely is a you know a big uh, big amount. And the fact that he's losing health is actually a benefit because his attack gets increased by 8% for every 10% missing HP once you get his uh, skill level to level 7. And so in the earlier example, if you go down to 1 health, he's going to be uh, missing essentially 90% of his health uh, because you can't uh, you can't lose 100, so the maximum is 90%. So 8 times 9, that's 72% additional attack he's going to have. Um, at that level and so you're just going to continue to deal a lot of damage and so for me i like to put basically all attacks i don't care about health really i do care about uh, attack critical rating and critical damage these are going to be the most important things for him the best set uh, i would consider uh, if you can match it would be berserker because then you gain additional 45 percent attack and then you can use um you know gloves to do like a critical damage and then you can uh, have a lot of uh, just a lot of attack value in there uh and you don't care about health so the fact that it's a 20 percent uh reduction in health doesn't actually matter so that would be my recommendation um you know for for him but if you can't find the berserker set that gives you the maximum amount of attack then don't worry about it just go with the uh, equipment set too if we take a look at his awakening uh so uh, uh basically when you look at his awakening uh, path it's going to be critical damage. So at three stars awaken and six stars awaken, he'll be gaining, uh, you know, 15% of uh, critical damage each time. And so he's just going to be unleashing more attack. Okay, it's all about attack with this guy. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and take a look at a quick uh, team composition and a fight uh, that he's going to do. So uh, team composition wise, with Gorak, you need to have a tank on the team and you need the tank to be able to taunt. So Emmet is an example of a hero that will taunt the the, hero, uh, the damage because Gorak is really a glass cannon. He can deal a lot of damage, but he can also die very easily. So you do need to have someone that can uh, tank the hit. And then uh, you need someone that can either give him immunity like Lenora. So Lenora giving immunity is actually going to, to work really well because then you can keep Gorak at one health and he'll continue to, to uh, smash away. Or you have someone like Santos who's going to be able to heal him up so that he can, um, he can withstand a couple of the damages uh, from maybe let's say some AoE attack and still be able to, to work well. Uh, Lenora, uh, Ronda is a, a good option here because uh, she also gives 10 mana to all allies so they can get their mana, uh, mana a little quicker. And Bork King allows them to match more so that they can uh, get more mana and just deal more damage more often. And so what we're going to see here is um, the the synergy between a, a unit like Santos and also Gorak. And that is Santos besides uh, doing health, um, you know, healing. He also grants increased attack. So when he activates his skill, he gives 50% increased attack and uh, a unit like Gorak will really, really benefit from it. And so right now, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to skip over to the boss fight so you can see Gorak in action. 
All right, here we are, we're up against the Goliath now. And so in this particular setup, the only uh, unit that is going to be dealing any damage is going to be Gorak. So let's take a look and see how much damage Gorak can deal uh, with uh, with all the boosts. So you can see there are 22,000 with the increased attack on Gorak. So you can see his uh, attack went up to 4,300. And that is because his health is still pretty much at full there. Uh, when his health gets lower, his damage will actually go up as well. And so uh, we can see you know, um, we, when, when the Goliath deals damage to um, Gorak, it's actually helping as well as long as he doesn't die. And this is where Lenora's uh, skill to uh, give Invincible really helps out here. And also having um, Emmett to having Emmett to actually uh, taunt the attack allows um, allows Gorak to survive longer. And so let's go ahead and see. So we will be able to do an attack now. So Gorak. Um, will probably get healed back up, unfortunately. But we can see that he was able to deal over 23,000 this time, and we we're able to take out the boss in essentially two hits. And so that's the power of Gorak here, right? He is all about, you know, taking the hit and then uh, using that to his advantage and taking out the enemy with a huge amount of uh, attack. He is one of the units that is in my queue to get up to six stars for sure. And, you know, this is not the only composition that will work, but I wanted to show like, you know, one example of what you can do to really boost Gorak. Even having just one attacker in your Rift uh, fight is going to be sufficient uh, and Gorak will definitely shine there. And so uh, I think that he's a great unit to have. So if you get him, uh, you definitely want to max level his abilities and you want to use him in any situation where you need to go up against a, a yellow hero he will shine for sure there as long as you can bring in a taunting hero to uh, to protect him so that's going to be it for me for today for this particular uh, video hope you liked it let me know what you think and let me know what other units you like to hear about and i do have a collection of heroes i'm going to uh, go through and i'll also be going over some really good support heroes uh, in some of the later videos so thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.